right, we're hoping you can see this. Uh, it's going to be maybe a little hard to see in there. Uh, we've removed the top bar, and as you can see, we've placed the top bar on our comb holder, and it's just held in place by these spring clips and it's notched out and it holds the comb real nice. It gives us a third hand. And as you can see we got some some nice looking honey. Maybe I can get a little better angle in the sun. But as you can see how they have slightly curled the top bar, particularly right in here, it curves out at this edge and it curves out a little bit on this other edge as well and it sticks out as you can see, just past the edge of the top bar. So it's not directly underneath the top bar. And we're going to go in and we're going to correct that. And what we're going to do is we're going to take our knife. Let me get a knife here. Sorry for the jerkiness. Again, I'm, I'm solo here today. We're going to take and we're going to very carefully cut this comb right along the edge of the bevel. And we're going to do this very carefully. We're only going to go about 25, 25% into the comb on this side until the point where it's basically lined up and pretty straight underneath the honey. So we've, we've cut into it about right here, which is the point where it lines up vertically underneath the top bar. You don't ever want to cut into the comb any more than about 20% or so, 15-20% on each side. We're going to cut a little bit on this side, we're going to cut a little bit on this side, and we're going to put our spring clips in there. <laughs> 